Hello, hello, and welcome to Bright Road to Success, where we make learning easy. So today we're going to learn how to subtract on the number line. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. So before we start, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and then when we finish, any questions that you have, please put in the comment section. So here we go. How do we subtract on the number line? Well, let's start out with a, a um, word problem here. It says Duke has 132 stickers. He gave 92 stickers to Bavara. How many stickers does he have left? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a strategy called cubes. Each of these letters stand for something in particular. So when you use cubes, the first thing you do is you circle the important numbers or times uh, or weights if you are doing those types of problems. So let's do that first. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle the important numbers. We have 132 stickers is important. He gave 92 stickers to Bavara. That's important. So let's go ahead and X out the C. Now we're going to move on to the U. The U is where you underline the actual question. Well, here's the question. How many stickers does he have left? And then we'll scratch through the U. And then the B stands for box, the important action words. So let's see what words here actually tell us to do something. It says, well, he gave 92 stickers to Bavara. So I'm going to box the word gave. And also, uh, let's see, how many stickers does he have left? Uh, I think gave is a good word right there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and mark through the B. And then we'll just think about or evaluate this question to try to make sure that we understand what it is that the question is asking us. So let's think about this. Let's visualize Duke. We'll visualize him as a person. And we'll visualize his 132 stickers. He gave 92 of the stickers to Bavara. So I'm look, I'm visualizing him handing Bavara 92 stickers. And then it goes on to say, how many stickers does he have left? And then I'm, I'm visualizing him looking at the remaining stickers. So I can tell that this is a subtraction problem that we need to do. So I'll go ahead and scratch through the E because we've evaluated it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and solve it, right? I'll leave that S there because we haven't solved it yet. So the next thing we have to do is to go ahead and figure out, um, since we're going to subtract, we're going to use the strategy of actually um, doing it on a number line. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a number line right here. And then since I know that I'm subtracting, I'm going to start with the biggest number here, 132. It has three place values. This has 92 has two place values. So you know that this uh, number is the biggest number. So I'm going to start with 132 and I'm going to put that right here on this side of my number line. It's very important to put your numbers on the correct side of the number line. Here it says he gave her 92 uh, stickers. So on this side, I'm going to put the number 92. Okay. So we have our problem set up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our friendly numbers. Friendly numbers are numbers that end in either five or, and I'm going to put a little text box right here uh, somewhere. Where can I put it? I'll put it down here. Friendly numbers end in five or a zero. And they're friendly because it's easy to, as we are going to see, to jump by fives or tens. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's make sure we have a friendly number. So here we're starting at 132. If I were to start subtracting, it would be kind of hard to do that um, because this number ends in a two. So I got to think, well, what can I subtract from this number so that the number in the ones place value is a zero or a five? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump one time, as we say. And since this is 132, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to subtract two. If I subtract two from 132, the new number is going to be 130, right? So think about that, 132 
minus 2 is 0, so now I have 130. Well, I'm trying to get down here to this number, 92, so I'm not there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump again or subtract again. Now this time, since I'm at 130, because this is a friendly number because it ends in zero, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract by, oops, I'm going to subtract by 10. So if I'm at 130 and I subtract 10, then the new number is 120. So again, think about this. You're at 130, your threes and your tens place. And if you subtract by 10, that 10 would be here. The one would be here in your tens place. So three minus one is 20. So it's 120, okay? So I'm gonna keep on going because I'm not quite at 92 yet because that's how many stickers um, he actually gave to Bavara. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump again or subtract again. And this time, hmm, can I subtract by 10 more? I think I can. So let's go ahead and we'll subtract by 10 again. And the reason I asked the question, can I subtract by 10 more is because whatever this number is here, when I subtract by the number here, it cannot be less than this number, or I have to figure out um, a different amount to, to subtract. So here we go. If I'm at 120, the new value would be 110. All right, so I it looks like I can jump 10 more, and it, this value would not be less than this one. So here I go. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to subtract by 10 more. Put a little text box this time. I'm going to put it right here because I don't have a lot of room. So if I subtract by 10 more, 110 minus 10 would leave 100. Okay, so since I'm at 100, if I subtract 10 more, I know 100 minus 10 is 90. So that means I cannot subtract 10 more. So how much can I subtract? Well, if I, I'm just going to start with 100, and then I'm just going to count backwards. If I'm at 100, and then I go to 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, up, oh, there it is. I can go ahead and then subtract 8. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put my text box here. And this time, I'm going to subtract by 8, and that will leave 92. Okay, so now that I've actually subtracted, at first I started with 102, 132 stickers and I subtracted 92 stickers. So that means I now need to add up. Well, how much did I subtract? Well, let's take a look and let's just go ahead and count it up. I subtracted 10, 20, 30, 38, 39, and 40. So down here, I'm going to say that, and the question is, how many stickers does he have left? Well, he has 40 stickers left, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put a check beside friendly numbers because I got my friendly numbers, and now I'm going to do a check. A check is what you do to make sure that your answer is correct. So when you actually do subtraction, the opposite of subtraction is addition. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to write the word check, C-H-C-K, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check to make sure that I did this uh, problem correctly. So I'm going to start with, <clears throat> excuse me, 92. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to add to that the amount of stickers that we said that he has left, which is 40. And if you add up those two numbers, and let me go ahead and just uh, maybe write, actually, let's add a little text box here, and we can put a addition sign, and then we can go ahead and just underline, let's put a little line right here, right here. So if we add the amount that he subtracted, and then the amount that we said that he has left, this number right here should equal the amount that we started with. So let's go ahead and check it out. If I add 2 plus 0, that equals 2. Whoops. <laughs> let's try that again. 
Let's go ahead and erase that line. And let's just go ahead and uh, maybe do a drawing. So two plus zero is two. And then nine plus four is 13. So I'm going to put the three here and I'm going to regroup the one. And there is one and I can just, there's nothing to add to it. So I'm just going to bring it down. And there you have it. 92, which is what he had left, add it with, I'm sorry, 92, which is the amount of the stickers that uh, he gave away. And the 40 stickers that he had left equals 132. So there you have it. We've done our check. So now you know how to subtract on the number line. I want you to go ahead, give me any questions that you have in the comment section. Did you think this was easy? If so, great. If not,